Hello and welcome Pixels! It's been a while since the last video, but I was very busy in the last couple of days and weeks. Thank you very much for all the voting in the last video and I will continue with English dub and subtitles. Importing SVG to Blender is not really difficult to do. I think it's just nice to know about this opportunity. I get to know the SVG format from Adobe Illustrator. You are able to export vector graphics which are similar to Curve and Paths in Blender. I want to show you in this tutorial how to export a SVG from Adobe Illustrator, import it to Blender and how to deal with several problems which may occur while transforming the curve to a mesh. First of all, you are not able to export colors and you are not able to export vector paths with a stroke. Be sure to convert your stroke or fonts into paths before export. Be sure to delete unused objects or layers. If they are disabled, you will be still exporting them. Be sure to merge shapes in Illustrator first. The result should be a clean and nice path. Go to Data, Save As, select Data Type SVG and hit Save. In the option menu I usually don't change anything and hit OK here as well. I want to work with the 25 games logo today. In Blender go to File, Import, Scalable Vector Graphics and select the wanted file. You will notice that the imported curves could be probably pretty tiny. However, you are able to scale it or them. The vector graphic in Adobe Illustrator should have the same anchor points than in Blender. But this is not true and I will show you an example now. If there are many single curves and you want to work with only one object, then just press Ctrl J for the join function. A vector graphic from Adobe Illustrator will be always a 2D graphic. So I want to bring some depth to it by using the solidify modifier. In some cases everything will go right, but in other cases it won't. You see here a tiny vertex which is going on a journey. There may be awful results with other vector graphics, even though the vector is clean and perfect in Adobe Illustrator. But not in Blender. The handles of an anchor point may be on the same position than the vector point itself. And the result is this ugly construct here. Sadly you can't delete the handle points in Blender. Maybe you want to fix it by transforming the curve into a mesh but I would recommend to disable or delete the solidify modifier first. To do this, go to object mode, do a right click and select convert to mesh. Apply the scale if you scale the objects first, because otherwise the value will not be correct. It may happen that you get way too many vertices and they need to be decimated. Now it is up to you how to continue. Probably you auto merge vertices by sliding them into each other. Or select a couple of vertices, press X to call up the delete menu and select dissolve vertices. Or select a couple of vertices, press Alt plus M to call up the merge menu and select merge by distance or at center. There are many possibilities. For sure you can work with the decimate modifier as well here. But it all depends on your needs and what you want to do with the imported SVG file. If you have any further questions write a comment to the section below. 
Thank you very much for watching. It would be very nice to give this video a like or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more game dev videos. Cheers!